as you can see guys youtube is working perfectly fine on my cards infotainment system using apple's carplay so today in this video i'll be showing you how to actually play youtube videos on our cards infotainment system using apple's carplay so before proceeding into the video i want to mention that you have to jailbreak your iphone for performing this and jailbreaking can even lead to violation of rules of apple and voiding your warranty so, and also i want to mention that the app i'm using in this video is a paid one and a free alternative is also available but the free alternative will be covered in my next video so before proceeding i should tell you the ios version of my iphone so this is an iphone 6 running ios 12.4.4 so i have already jailbroken this iphone and the cydia app is already installed on it now if you are having any difficulty in jailbreaking your iphone you can comment me down and i'll make a separate video for it so for now the cydia is already installed and i am assuming that you have jailbroken your iphone now i am opening cydia on my iphone so it might take some while to open depending on your phone speed and the internet connection and here we go the cydia app is open now there is a bottom bar which contains some tabs so we have to go into the sources tab as you can see i have opened the sources tab now you have to check if the big boss source is actually there in your sources tab if it's not there you have to click the edit button and the add button and then add the source over here the link of the source is given down in the description so after that you will see this big boss source in your sources list after it's added you have to click the search icon which is also on the bottom strip after clicking the search icon you have to click on the search bar and over there you have to search car bridge so here i am typing car bridge after you type you'll get two options one is for ios 10 to ios 12 and the other is for ios 13 now download according to your ios so i am currently running on ios 12 so i'll download the first alternative so here we can see the details of the car bridge ios 10 to ios 12 now you are not interested in this details because I am giving you the details. You have to just purchase this. It's of 4.99 USD dollars. Just purchase it and then click on modify and click install. So in my case because I have already installed it when I click modify it is showing reinstall but here you will be shown install. Click on that and the car bridge will be automatically installed. After that you have to go back to your home page and click on settings. Then in settings, when you'll scroll down, you'll see car bridge options. Click on that. So here I click on it and you'll see the car bridge settings over here. So now you can actually configure it as per your choice. Now click on bridged applications and click on the application you want to actually use on your car's Apple CarPlay and then click on enable and choose landscape mode. Now pretty much all the settings from your iPhone are completed. So now let's head towards our car and see how it looks like. So as you can see here I am in my car and this is my car's infotainment system. So now I'll go into menu of my car's infotainment system and I'll show you that it supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So this is the iPhone which I actually set it up for uh, car bridge. So now I'll connect it with my car's infotainment system. And it, as you can see, it says reading USB audio and CarPlay starts automatically. And on the phone, it shows car bridge icon. So now I'll keep the phone aside. Now the best part is it actually works even if the screen of the mobile phone is off. So let me keep the mobile phone aside. So as you can see, all the apps which I have bridged are showing here. So we can actually edit all this from the car bridge settings so we'll go back into settings and scroll down and get into car bridge settings so here are the car bridge settings so there is this option called icon columns it is currently four if we increase it the columns actually increase and this all happens in lifetime so as you can see if i increase or decrease the column number it has live impact on the screen of our apple's carplay so if i do it eight then all the icons are scattered in only one row so i'll actually prefer the default settings which is four so now i can show you the bridged applications which i have bridged so main one is youtube and uh, 
the calendar app is not that useful so i'll be disabling it it not shows correctly else all the applications which i have bridged are working fine except the compass also the ui of the compass is not that good so now you can also set how it looks in the carplay settings the actual positioning of each icon so if i want the youtube icon to be on the top then i can actually just do it like that so it's that simple so now if i look it on my car the arrangement is actually changed now this is the default feature only but i am just showing you so now if i open youtube you can see the youtube app is actually opened and i can scroll so smoothly in it no lag can be seen and it's so smooth so i can show you the trending page and all everything is working just fine if i go to my channel i can show you my one of the videos how it plays because i cannot play any other video because of copyright issues so sometimes it takes uh, time to load but it also depends on your uh, phone speed and also on your internet speed so here my channel is loaded so i'll go to videos and over here i'll just choose uh, any one like zymi pro कि हमारा पिछला डेटा भी अपने क्लाउड में स्टोर करके रखता है तो अभी जैसे कि मैं दिखाऊं आपको आज का हमने कैसे गाड़ी चलाई है तो आज मैंने टोटल 20 किलोमीटर तो हेयर यू सी हाउ गुड इट वर्क्स सारे कितने ड्यूरेशन के लिए चलाई है और उससे कितना परफेक्ट कंज्यूम हुआ है तो ओवरऑल ये काफी अच्छा रहता है ये हमारे कार के रियल टाइम ट्रैकिंग ट्रिप लॉग एंड ट्रिप हिस्ट्री थेफ्ट एंड टोइंग अलर्ट्स कार हेल्थ मॉनिटरिंग और जियोफेंसिंग और हमें इसके कुछ पिक्चर्स दिए so you can judge it yourself that the video was playing so smoothly and the scrolling of the video was also so smooth so now let's play another video so as the video was not coming that clear so i i'm changing the resolution and changing it to 1080p So as you can see the video is coming out to be so crisp and clear and it is so smooth that you can actually uh, scroll in the video so smoothly everything is so smooth that i cannot actually express in words i can also understand that it depends on your device speed and also on your car's infotainment speed as some infotainment systems are slow in my case i am using a hyundai's infotainment system and it is very smooth so now let's uh, actually Uh, stop this video and i'll also wanna uh, show you how to search on it so when you try to search a similar uh, keyboard appears which appears on your iphone in the landscape mode so you can search it the keyboard also is very good and uh, very responsive so here i searched it and you can see uh, you uh, the search results in some time it depends on your internet speed So that was all about the YouTube app. Now I also want to show you the other apps. So pretty much every app can work. Only the Compass app is not working. So let me first show you the Safari app. So the Safari app is opening, and here it opens, and it is opening my website, which is itsragov.com. So here is my website, and I can scroll in it, and it's uh, again very smooth. and uh, i can see that i am not able to zoom maybe this is because my infotainment system doesn't support multi display and uh, that's why zooming is not possible so now let me show you google and uh, over here when i search the search results are shown and it is also very good pretty much every site can be opened and you can even open the new tabs just like you do in your iphone So now let's go back to home. Now coming on the Photos app, it also works seamlessly. All the photos on your iPhone can be displayed on the CarPlay, and uh, I cannot show it over here because of the privacy issues. 
So now let's head over to the compass app. Now as you can see when I open it, it's somewhat of glitchy and the UI is also not that great. Black line is appearing on the compass. That's why it is not showing correctly. Uh, now the compass actually shows you the direction in which the iPhone points. So you should align the uh, your iPhone and the car in the same direction to actually show the right direction in the compass. If the iPhone and the car is not aligned correctly, then the compass will show the wrong direction and it can even lead you into problem. Now let's go back to home. So guys, these were pretty much the apps which I use using the CarBridge, but actually any third party app can be installed on the Apple's CarPlay using CarBridge. Now I tried one of my own app and it also works very good. Now if you want to download my apps, then you can visit my website www.itsragov.com and swipe to the bottom and over there you will get the iOS and Android links. Now there is another very good feature which is show portal app. It is available on the CarBridge settings. When you will enable it, you will show a portal app in the Apple's CarPlay. When you will click it, your phone's actual display will be mirrored with the car's infotainment system's display and you can actually access your phone directly from your car's infotainment system. So that's a pretty much good feature. So now let me show you uh, playing a video through screen mirroring also. So I'll go to YouTube and YouTube also works as the same. Now the difference is that you can actually access this from your iPhone also. So I'll again show you one of my videos only. So I'll go to my channel and uh, play any one of the videos and uh, you can see all the things which are shown on my phone are also shown on the card infotainment system and uh, now uh, the video is loading and here you can see the video is loaded and uh, it is actually shown on the car's infotainment system now if i rotate my phone the video will start playing actually in the landscape mode on the car's infotainment system now there's a disadvantage in this that if your phone is locked then the video will not show as the uh, phone mirroring will be stopped so that's why uh, the way which i showed you earlier that is bridging the app is more preferable as in that even if the phone is locked the youtube app will work so here our video is almost on the ending note and over here I want to add a thing that even while driving these uh, YouTube apps and other apps even the YouTube videos can work and I will prefer you that you should not uh, actually watch the videos while driving and this can be dangerous and it's also a safety risk. Uh while I have tried this in my car, but my car's design is such that the driver's view is not obstructed by the infotainment screen. So while driving, I cannot even see it. So, but in some cars, the view of the infotainment system is pointed towards the driver and it can be a safety risk because the driver can actually watch the video while driving and uh, this can even uh, lead to some uh, bad happenings. So I will actually prefer you not to do this. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video. Peace.